So here we'll be looking at the possible treatment that is right for outpatient and inpatient treatment for community acquired pneumonia. So if you're talking about outpatient, uh, outpatient, outpatient is more of like, okay, somebody that has a disease condition, but the person is, has not been admitted in the hospital. Then for inpatient, inpatient is somebody that has a disease condition and the patient is right there at the hospital. The patient has been admitted in the hospital ward. Do you understand? So there are different types of medications that could be given to this type of patient because for the outpatient, the outpatient has pneumonia and the patient is still in the community. Do you understand? Why the inpatient has pneumonia the patient is between the hospital, probably isolated. So there are different approaches towards giving medications to these two types of patients. So for the outpatient, we're starting with the outpatient. If the outpatient has no comorbidities, comorbidities is like, okay, the patient has pneumonia and they have some other disease conditions too. So if they have no comorbidities, and they have not used antibiotics of recent. You give drugs like what? For the first line, you are looking at drugs like what? Azithromycin. All right. For the, for the second line is what? Drugs like toxicycline. All right. That's your second line. Then if the patient has comorbidities or the patient have used antibiotics in the last three months, all right, this criteria will make you want to change the drugs. Now, for comorbidities, as I've explained, it's the patient has other disease conditions. Apart from pneumonia, they, are, they have other disease conditions. Or if they have used antibiotics in the last three months, then you might want to give antibiotics like what? Mosey flows are saying. Now, why are you switching drugs? You are switching drugs because the patient has recently been exposed to antibiotics. And probably that has made the organism to be more resistant. Do you understand? So you now use a much more harsher drug, right? So use drugs like what Mosifloxacin or Levofloxacin. Then alternatively, you might want to combine Augmentin and Azithromycin together to use for that. All right. Then for inpatients, that's the patients that are in the hospital, all right? So if the patient is in the hospital, but is just in a normal hospital ward, that means their condition is not that severe for you to admit them in the ICU. So non-ICU, that means the patient is just in a normal hospital ward. Their condition has not become an emergency yet. You might want to use drugs like what? Mosiflux are saying or Levofloxacin. are saying. Then you also use what? And azithromycin. Then if patient is in the ICU, that means you are dealing with a patient that is basically an emergency now. You might use drugs like what? Azithromycin, or you can switch up with what? Mosifloxacin or Levofloxacin, all right? Then if the patient has an allergy of PCN, all right? You might use drugs like what? Astronam, or you use Mosifloxacin or Levofloxacin. I think the, the whole treatment is just rotating around the same place. If you watch the video very well, you get what understand the direction of treatment for this community acquired pneumonia.